Hey everyone, I'm coming to you guys today with a hair review. And also, it's my first video. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that notification button, okay? Because I really, really want to keep doing these videos. And the reason why I want to do these videos is because a lot of times we will watch some videos on YouTube or on the internet, online, different places, look at Facebook pages, Instagram pages, and we'll, we will see, like, we will see the wigs that the companies actually sent to certain people. And when we actually go out and we purchase the wigs, we don't get the same quality that other people get. And it kind of is frustrating because a lot of times, especially if you're dealing with AliExpress, and I know that for a fact, like, because I've been through it so many times where I received horrible hair. I was able to actually show them that it was horrible hair straight out the pack. And basically, either you're going to have to pay to send it back, which can be costly, or they'll say, well, you can keep it, but we're only going to give you like $30 back, but you'll have been spent like two or $300 you know, on a wig or on some hair and then you only get like $30 back and that's just, you know, foolishness. Never will understand it, don't like it. So I stopped dealing with AliExpress altogether completely. Now this hair company, they they are actually on AliExpress. So I I got a lot of mixed reviews before ordering this um hair. I had a friend who actually ordered from wigginshair.com and I also have another friend who ordered Wiggins hair, but they ordered it through um, AliExpress. And they did not like the hair when it came from AliExpress and was basically like, you know, Kita, if you're going to try this, you better be practicing like some screen cautions. I wouldn't spend like a whole bunch of money and da, 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 because you may not get the good quality. Well, you know, I was like, I'm going to try it out and I'm just going to see, you know, so, like I said, it's 100% honest review because at the end of the day, I purchased this with my own money. Nobody actually sent this wig to me for free. I didn't get a discount. The only discount I got was coupons from the website, which ended up being like a total of $11 altogether. It was like um, they have they have a sale going on on Wiggins.com. Not AliExpress, but go directly to Wiggins.com um, through your web browser. Go directly to Wiggins.com. And I think the code was like wig 10, which gave you like $10 off. Um, and then for me just signing up with account for them, you gain like points or whatever. And I already had like 180 points just for, you know, signing up with the company, which they convert the points over into like dollar amounts. So I ended up having like an extra dollar, so to speak, because 100 points is a dollar. So I ended up having like a dollar. So all total, I probably spent like, and I paid through PayPal, which I like paying through PayPal. Um, <clears throat> instead of paying like with AliExpress, now they charge you for paying through PayPal because at the end of the day, you know, PayPal is going to ride with a customer when you got the, on the other hand, with Alipay or whatever it's called, they're going to ride with the seller. So even if, like I said, if you get bad hair and you may have been spent like two, $300 on bad hair, they give you like $30, $40 back knowing that that's not fair, you know, and you just stuck with the hair or you can try to send it back, but it's still up to the the discretion of the the seller. It's still up to them on whether or not they're going to say, well, we're going to return your money completely, even though you send it back or however it goes. So basically I just said, okay, well, I'm going to just try going through Wiggins.com, which I did watch a honest review on Wiggins hair on YouTube and basically they were saying to order directly from Wiggins hair instead of going through AliExpress and ordering through and ordering Wiggins hair. And another thing too guys, I'm sorry so I may be a little jump in this video because I'm trying to record this with my cell phone. As I said, it, was, it is my first video and I'm just waiting on like some cameras and stuff to come, da 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 da, yada yada yada, but hey, we all got to start from somewhere. So, like I said, like subscribe and hit the notification button i truly appreciate it it mean a lot to me um but yeah so let's get back to this hair like i said i ordered a six by six lace closure wig and 24 inches and it is a 250 density wig so basically i thought it was gonna take like way longer because i ordered the hair on a monday and i got it on friday 
but the tracking number said I was going to receive it on Monday. And I was like, dang, I got somewhere I got to be on Monday and I'm supposed to sign for this package, yada, yada, yada. So I love, love, love how fast I actually got the hair. So big up the Wiggins for me getting the hair so fast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and like I said, it's 250 dents. It is a 24 inch. It's a six by six lace closure. And I went with a closure because like with the frontals, I was using the glue and though, you know, I did the ball cap method so I could put the glue mostly on like the cap and not like my edges or whatever. Um, and sometimes it would kind of like when I'm getting glue, I don't know if I was doing it improperly. Um, but sometimes it would kind of pull my edges and I got so sick of the ear, like around the ear, it always started to lift first. So <clears throat> anytime I've made a wig myself personally, um, with a closure, it's always like perfect because it just lay perfectly. And a lot of times I don't have to use glue to try to lay it down or anything in that nature because I like my wigs to be secure. I don't like for the wig to just be like, okay, bye girl. Okay. And it's gone. And everybody, and I'm in front of some people because I have had it happen before. I was at Water World and I had my wig. Ugh, and I had a 13 by 6 wig on. And I went to sweating because it was so hot. Y'all know this Alabama heat. It was so, 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 so hot. And I'm telling you, I didn't even really get wet at Water World. And it was just so hot that I sweated so much. The wig actually um, pushed back. And I was just like, ugh. So when I just started doing closures and closures only, I noticed the big difference because I can still get that snug feel regardless of whether or not I use glue or not. But anyways, so that's the reason why I went with the 6x6 six six lace closure because I wanted it to go a little bit farther than a 4x4 four four or 5x5. Five five. Um, now with this wig, I did not make this wig. Um, I actually purchased this wig already made with a hair intact. And... um. Like I said, this hair came from wigginshair.com. I did not order it through AliExpress. Um, it is 100% virgin hair. It says it's 100% virgin hair. I did do a burn test. So, yeah, it's 100%, you know, human hair. Um, I did get the, as you can see, the last one, the 250 density, like I told you guys. And this is all of their information right down here where you can go to whatsapp number if you want to do wholesaling or if you just have some questions um they also got the email address down here if you got some questions <coughs> excuse me and like i said it's you know i did not get this wig for free um it is gonna be honest and i have not done anything whatsoever to this um hair period so let me show you guys just excuse my little mannequin head because y'all can see that this thing been through some things okay this mannequin head and been through some things for real so y'all can see i'm always working with hair or something but anyways <coughs> excuse me y'all for some apparent reason i just keep on coughing and i am a nail biter Ugh. but anyways i want you guys to see it is somewhat pre-plucked. You can see that it's pre-plucked, but you know, of course, in order to make it more me, I'm gonna still have to go in whatsoever and pluck it. But I mean, for beginners, it's a good it's a good wig for a beginner because you don't have to do a whole bunch of plucking. And you can tell that the knots have been like lightly bleached in like in some spots more than others because it's not that bad when you zoom off of it, you know. But I'm going to still fix that and I'll do a tutorial on how I fix that using Sally Henson's makeup as well as hairspray to kind of like give it that illusion that is growing out of your scalp. But anyway, so let me turn this around a little bit. Let you see. The hair itself is like extremely, extremely full for it to be a 24 inch. Now, the only thing that I can say is not a 24 inch all over. As you can see. It's like short here, but it's still good hair though. But I mean, most of the wig, most of the time when we purchase a wig from the wig companies and we split, say that we want like a 24 inch, everybody knows that in the front is not all the way down to a 24 inch, you know, so you're going to end up with some short spots. And so it's not going to be like right here. You're going to end up with some short spots. So it's not going to all be 24 inch. See what I'm saying? That's not all 24 inch. So, 
you know, unless you make your own wig for a fact and you get a 24 inch closure or frontal or whatever length, regards to whatever length, that's the only way you're going to for certain get an all over length. Okay. But I'm okay with it because it just makes it easier when I'm curling. That means that I don't have to try to put a lot of layers on in it. They're kind of like for my curls to fall the way I want them to fall or however I want my hair to fall. So I don't have to do that much to it. So I like that a lot. And as you can see, the tracks aren't spaced that far apart, which I like. You know, it's it's about spaced about what I would do if I was doing like maybe three bundles and three bundles and a closure. It's kind of like what I would do about the spacing wise, unless like, <coughs> excuse me, unless like I wanted. It's super thick, super, super, super full. Unless I wanted like that, then I would go closer and closer and closer. But now I'm 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 kind of weaning in the way of wanting stuff to look more natural. So I don't I don't want it like too 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 thick because sometimes when it's too 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 thick, it can kind of look bulky. If you know what I'm saying, if you try to wear it flat without curls, it can kind of look bulky sometimes. So um, I'm I'm extremely happy with this wig. It's like butter soft. I mean, you can just run your hands through it. I have not gotten any shedding whatsoever. Like I said, um, I haven't done anything to this wig. I haven't put oil on it. I have not. Only thing I did to this wig was unpacking and put it on top of my 21 inch um, blockhead. That's all. That's all I have done. And <clears throat> when I was talking about the shipping time, I was saying to myself, like, okay, like I said, I had something to do on Monday. So I was kind of like, like, Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be here. I don't know what time they're coming. I know all Monday I'm I'm just wrapped up, blah 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 blah, etc. 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 Um, so I won't be able to sign for the package. So I was extremely, 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 extremely happy that it actually ended up coming on a Friday. So I was able to sign for the package or whatever. And um, yeah, y'all can tell how he how heavy this wig actually is because every time I do that. Every time I just run my hands through, it just kind of, it's, it's so heavy that it just kind of fall back and I don't have it pent down to my um, mannequin head yet. But like I said, it's not much that you'll actually have to do with this hair. I have not had any shedding coming straight out of the pack. Now I don't, I, I'm not going to bleach my knots because I think when up sometimes when you bleach the knots, sometimes it can cause the hair to break down and it'll start shedding. Um, I definitely will order again from this company because I really like it. But keep in mind, this is like the first, first, first review. <coughs> Excuse me. First, first, first review of this hair. So I got to wear it for a little bit and then I'll come back and then I'll tell you guys how I like the hair after probably about a week or two and how it held up then. But for now, I'm in love with it. I'm, it's like butter soft, like... I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And I definitely did get my money's worth because like I said, I paid all together after the discounts. I paid like $235.17. So, I mean, yeah, I, I love it. And I did, like I said, I did not order through AliExpress. I ordered directly through WigginsHair.com. And like I said, the shipping was fast. So that wasn't a big issue. Um, I like I like the lace because the lace is like, thin but it's not too thin to where it's not doable um i like the lace to me thinner lace for me it lays like a lot better better on um on the scalp or the forehead whichever one you know anyways whichever one um it lays a lot better to me when the lace is a bit thinner and it gives you more of a natural look some people like a thicker lace like my sister she like a thicker lace and i like a thinner lace so it just it's all up to you on what kind of lace that you like. To me, the thinner the lace, the more it blends in and the more natural it actually look. So, yeah. But I like it. I'm going to do a curl test and see how it holds curls. Um, Like I said, I already had did the burn test. And the burn test came out perfect. So, I know for a fact that it's 100% hair. Um, I like the nice little shine to it and it's not like that Barbadol plastic like shine. 
it doesn't have that going on. So that's what I really, really, really liked. It's just like a natural shine. You know, like whatever they did, I don't know what they did, if they put something in it. it and it don't have a smell because I know a lot of times I have um picked up, I know I just smelt that on camera, right? I know. But anyways, so a lot of times it'll have like this funky, like this real funky, like stale feet, corn chip smelling smell to it. It smells awful. And I mean, no matter how much you wash and condition, it's still in there. But it don't even have that. It don't even have like a chemical smell to it, which is surprising because a lot of wigs that I have brought, it kind of, most of them have like that chemical smell to it in it or that corn chip smell. And it doesn't have that. I mean, it's just beautiful. I am so in love with this wig. I will highly, highly, highly recommend you purchasing this wig. Like I said, with wiggins.com. You know, for one, with the one thing I like is that I can pay through PayPal. So if I ever have some issues and I can just go through PayPal. And number two, you know, um, and number two, I like the, I like the shipping. It came pretty fast. And I also like the density on the hair. It's not like too thick, not too thin, but make sure that you do choose your density right. Oh, and another thing I was going to say. I thought that the wig was going to take longer because a lot of times when I've dealt with um, AliExpress directly and the vendors on AliExpress, most of the time with me having like such a small pea head, and I know y'all heard, some of y'all probably got like a pea head too. So basically my head is actually 21 point, um, I think it was 21, I measured my head y'all. I think it was like 21.3 or something like that or it was 21.3, I think. But anyways, it was like I got a screamless small head. So basically what I did was um, on on AliExpress, I would just say, hey, like I need a small cap. My And I would put in the description, like my head is 21.3 inches. Um, blah, 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 blah. I would put all that inside of there. And then a lot of times it would take longer for me to actually get a wig because I have like a smaller size head. And that's and then and then it's hit or miss because sometimes what the companies will do is when you do tell them like, hey, I got a smaller head, my head is X, Y, and Z, or you know, I got a bigger head, it's X, Y, and Z, either they'll respond back to you and they'll say, Well, you got combs. And I have to explain to them, like, okay, I'm natural. Like I did the whole big chop and I did like a big chop meaning like cut all my hair off to like bow and started growing it back. So a lot of times when they say, Oh, well, we got the clips. And you can put the clips in and it'll be fine. And then you also got the scraps in the back to tighten the wig. It'll be fine. Da, da, da. And then you try that and it still don't work for me. Because like I said, I have such a small head. And then in the back, sometimes when you got such a pea head, like how I got a pea head. In the back, what happens is it bunches up and it just looks horrible. So I was so impressed when I went to the website. And um, I got onto their website. I picked out the wig that I want. Which this wig is actually called the Straits wave and 24 inches um and one of the things like i was saying that i loved about when i went to the website on the website itself when i picked out my wig or whatever i also picked out my length i picked out my density and then the thing that i love 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 is it actually had what cap size you need so it was like small medium or large and you could choose between which one of those opposed to having to try to write them Okay, I need X, Y, and Z, blah, 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 blah. You can actually choose what, you know, your cap size that you need. And honestly, I put it on my head and I was like, okay, this is perfect. This is like the most perfect wig I have ever received that fits my head like perfectly. I, I, I have never received a wig, you know, that would fit my head perfectly. It's always the ones, even if they say, yeah, they're going to send you a small cap. But a lot of times they still send you like a, um, 22 i think it's like 22.5 or something like that or 23.5 or something like that they always send you the bigger average size even though even though you need um even though you need my daughter is picking with me right now while i'm doing this so y'all excuse me if i'm stuttering um you'll need like i me i for a bigger head some people need that and what they'll do is they'll give you the average size cap and then say you can adjust it and i really don't like that so I was happy that this company actually took my pea headness 
into consideration and gave me an actual small cap what I what I needed and it did not take forever to come because when I have in the past got a small size cap it took like three and four weeks for me to get the hair so or get the wig so I was just like Ugh. so at one point I just stopped like trying to order wigs and I just started doing the wigs myself like so I can make it to the size in which I need it you know but I was so shocked and I was so surprised and how good um the sizing of the caps were, you know, because a lot of times, like I said, you ask for a small cap, you get average, and then they just say, suck it up, buttercup, you know. So I was happy that I, um, what I asked for, I actually did receive. And it's like all in the, and it's all in the information box when you get ready to, um, when you get ready to choose, like, like I said, like your length, how thick you want it, which is the density, and then the size of the cap. So, I love that and I love the shipping time and the communication was like off the rails. When I say the communication was off the rails, the communication was off the rails. They stayed in contact with me the whole time while waiting on my wig. I mean, they contacted me after I purchased the wig saying, thank you for purchasing the wig, blodgy, blodgy, blodgy. And then like a day later, it was probably like a day and a half later because you know, when it's day for us is. It's night for them, and when it's night for us, it's day for them. So I'm gonna say it was like a day and a half later, something like that. I went to my emails and I noticed that they had sent me out a tracking number, which that was pretty fast. But when I tried, when I checked, when I tracked it, um, FedEx was saying it was supposed to be here on Monday. So I ended up getting it on Friday, which was a blessing, like I said, because I had so much stuff I had to do on Monday. But like I said, overall, I so far overall, I will give this hair like. 12 thumbs up I mean 12 thumbs up I cannot find a flow right now just coming straight out the pack I cannot find a flow I would say that this wig is like beginners friendly because once again like I said you got some plucking going on here you know so you don't have to do a whole bunch of plucking or like I said if you come you can get it straight out of the pack and you can just you know Apply a little makeup to your lace or whatever, whatever. If you don't feel like bleaching the knots and then you're ready to go. So, you know, cut the lace and ready to go. So, you don't have to do a lot to it. But I'm going to see how this wig hold up. And then I promise you guys I'm coming back with another video just to show you guys. For one, I'm going to do like the fake knots. How I fake my knots out without actually having to use bleach. Because trust me, I have made a mistake before and over bleached my knots and it ended up running up to the hair and it just was not right. I had to use mascara in order to cover up the parts that I did that I messed up on. And on top of that, that brassiness was just awful. Ugh, it just did not work. So I had to find, I went on YouTube and found a whole bunch of different videos and watched like thousands of videos on, I'm over exaggerating, but on like how to fake out the bleaching of the knots. And ever since I found out, I found how to fake out the knots from Erica J. I love her. Like, she is my favorite YouTuber. Lovely T is my favorite YouTuber. And Malibu Dollface is my um, favorite YouTubers. And I watch a lot of, um, like I said, I watch a lot of Erica J videos um, all the time. Because she be coming with it. Like, she she don't come to play when it comes to that lace. Now, y'all, anybody who watch Erica J videos, she don't come to play when it comes to that lace. I wish I was somewhere near so that she can do my lace. Because that girl don't play when it comes to the lace. But anyways, like I said, this re this review is like my first initial review on Wiggins hair. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a 24 inch, 250 density, um, 6x6 six six lace closure. So far, I'm loving it. I don't have any issues. It's not shedding. And I'm just pulling. I'm literally pulling on it. And I'm, I'm pulling. Let me see if y'all can see. I'm pulling. I'm trying to make it shed. Nothing. And that's the floor. Nothing. That's not hair. That's just a scratch in my floor. But, I mean, it's no shedding, period. None. So, yeah. I'm in love with it, but I'm going to do a follow-up video and see how far I am in love with it. So, for now, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button because Miss Keita P is going to be coming through with these videos on hair because I'm so sick of us getting scammed. Okay? We we work hard for our money. We do not deserve to be scammed. 
So it's always going to be true, honest, 100% when it comes to these hair reviews because I have been scammed a thousand times by watching other videos and it's not always the, you know, I'm going to say this, it's not always the YouTube, the YouTuber that's actually doing a review on the um, hair, on a hair or on a unit fault. And the reason why I say that is because, I mean, the company will send them something and of course they're going to send them the best, but it's kind of still like you got, it's at your own risk that you buy because you know, you're watching a video, you know that this hair was sent by this company directly to that person. So in the back of your mind, you can say to yourself, you know, huh, I wonder if this is, you know what I'm saying? Is, is if this is an honest review and it is an honest review sometimes, because that's honestly how they got that wig. But honestly, when we order it, we don't get the same thing. So it's not the YouTuber's fault. It's the actual company's fault. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be understanding of that. And you have to be cautious as well. And know like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit deeper research. Because I be all on Google trying to figure out honest reviews. I be reading reviews off of Google. Like going down the list. I be doing a whole nine just to make for certain before I buy anything. Because like I said... These hair companies, especially on AliExpress, have gotten me good, okay? Amazon is another one, too. But the one thing I love about Amazon, Amazon 100% bags they customer up, okay? If you figure out that hair is bad and you purchase it from Amazon, Amazon will give you all your money back. Amazon will do that because I just had recently, I'm going to do another video on this wig that I got from Amazon and I'm going to show you guys how horrible it was. <clears throat> but Amazon had my back completely 100%. And I did receive a, re a refund, okay? So, you know, I would recommend ordering from WigginsHair.com. Because so far, I like it. So far, I don't have any problems. But like I said, I'm going I'm to wear this wig for a couple of weeks. I'm going to see how I go down. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do whatever I can. And like I said, I'm going to just try to keep on bringing the real and the honest about these hair companies and everything else. Because we're going to do a little bit of everything on here, okay? All right. So one more time, let me show you the, um, let me show you the, where you can actually go and you can purchase, um, this hair from. Okay. You can purchase this hair from WigginsHair.com. As you can see, it's 100% virgin hair. I did get the 250 density um, in 24 inches. I'll figure out how to get the link down below for you guys, okay? Like I said, it's my first video, so bear with me. And we'll try to figure this out together, how to get the link down below so you can get what I received, okay? Um, this all the contact information right here, if you need to get in touch with them for whatever reason. But yes, for now, I will definitely indeed you know, recommend Wiggins hair. And that's an honest 100% review on the hair. So it was not paid. I did not receive nothing for free. The only thing I got for free was like some caps. What are caps at? I got these caps for free, okay? And where's the... And I received like a elastic band for free. No lashes now, y'all. I didn't even get one of them fancy little combs. Them little edges, combs. I didn't even get that. I didn't even get none of those fake lashes, none of that. So, the gifts I got was a lash band and some um and some and some wig caps. That's it. Okay. So if you're expecting like all the fancy stuff, I don't know what they do for other people that actually review the hair, but you ain't getting a lot of fancy stuff. But I am thankful for the wig caps because that saved me from having to go to the hair store because I currently am out of wig caps. Okay. So that did save me. So yeah, like I said, 100%, I recommend Wiggins hair right now. And then we just going to go forward and I'm going to show you guys, you know, it's time lapse. Let's see how this hair hold up. Let's see, you know, about this lace. Let's see how it go. Okay. But for now, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button, please, honey. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.